Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a showcase and a selection of all the sort of sparkly bags of this season. So this was sort of inspired by, you know, I was looking for sparkly bags for the season and um, I became like a magpie and found quite a few. So I thought I would share them, all their different colour variations, give myself a little uh, basis to go by. Um, I was looking at predominantly, you know, the silver sparkly bags um, and then if they had any other colour variations, I thought I would show them. Okay, so jumping straight in, we have the Amina Mawadi Paloma Mini Crystal Embellished Satin Clutch. Now, as you know, personally, I'm not much of a boring box or envelope clutch girl. I, I think if you're going to do a clutch, at least do something interesting for the most part. It's not always appropriate, but um, that's just my general viewpoint. So they do the bag in what is called grey. Um, I think this is quite fun though. I think it's quite expensive for what it is, um, but fun nonetheless. I think I do prefer the multicolour version that they do of it. Um, it sort of gives a beaded effect. It's quite fun actually for a multicolour bag. Next up, we have my personal favourite. This is the Benedetta Bruccini, I'm guessing, I have no idea if it's pronounced that way, um, Venus uh, Petite Clutch Bag. Now, ugh, this is the crystal bag that I intend uh, to purchase, hopefully in the new year, after the whole Christmas spending. Um, because for me, I just think this is stunning. It looks like draping crystals. It's stunning. I'm obsessed. I find it, it's sort of an elegance to it, but it's so sparkly, so fun. Um, I'm obsessed with these. They do many different sizes. I also found that they did this amazing, this amazing green shade, uh, which is absolutely stunning. And I'm not really a green lover. They also do, you know, a lilac purple. You can have it in more of a, a champagne gold, more of a gunmetal grey, they do tons of variations of them. I don't think pricing is too bad, I think the Amina Mawadi was like 1.2, these sit around six, 700 depending on where you can source them from. So that bag for me is my top pick. Uh, moving on to the more uh, common bag, this is the Cult Geiger Hira? Hera? Who knows? This sits at about £300, many different colour variations, they do a black which that's quite hard to track down actually, uh, a blue variation, and then the typical silver, and I actually did look at getting this bag as sort of, um, as it's on the more cheaper side, more of a like clubby bag, but I did see it around the internet that, you know, the quality of this bag can be absolutely abysmal, <laughs> and I think if I was to buy that bag, use it heavily, and then within, you know, a couple of wears, is crystals falling off it, it, it's not a good look and even though it is only 300 pounds it's still 300 pounds you know for an item that is going to fall to pieces so no i know it is a, a popular bag a favorite maybe if you're going to look after it a little more um be a little more careful with it uh that could be one to go for here is a magda bertram bag uh this is 1290 vesna i really need to stop trying to pronounce the names it's not going well for me um this has sort of a beaded crystal um with also a tad bit of uh, gold hardware um this isn't for me a huge tassel um, I'm not sure about the bit on the side, a black leather strap with gold hardware and the shape of it, it just for me it seems like there's just a bit too much going on for my liking. These I love, I can never see myself purchasing due to the price but they're amazing. These are the Lam Van and it's just called rhinestone uh, bag um, but as you can see here it's one of the cat bags, £3,000 um, but it's stunning though isn't it, just to look and appreciate. They also do a black satin version for 1.7, which I think this is very pretty and very elegant, actually. And as far as a boring box clutch goes, I think the cat on there just adds a little more of a design element to it, makes it a little more of an art piece than just if you were to chop the cat off and just have the boring box clutch. And you have a top handle and a crossbody strap. I think that bag's lovely. Stella McCartney. You know I love Stella McCartney. So... This is another Bella Bella bag. I'm pretty sure that is actually how you pronounce it. I think I got it right the first time. Um, so this is a mesh crossbody bag. I've mentioned before that they did a, a draping crystal version, a gold version, which is actually as far as gold bags go, I think that's quite pretty to be honest. Another Cult Gaia bag here, 388 pounds. 
Banu. I'm still trying, I don't know why. Uh, this for me is a little much, though I think quite pretty. Uh, Chainmail clutch, you've got the draping, it's like a bow on there detail. Um, not for me, though I think still works and could be fun for more of a dramatic look. Um, ooh, we have another Lanvin. This is tiny. Oh wow, this is only £490, probably because it is so tiny. Wow, it's sort of like a moon shape, that's quite pretty. An interesting handle as well. Oh my gosh, we're back with another long one. Okay, so this is the more famous large Hobo cat bag. 2.2K, wow, <laughs> look at that sparkle. Again with the cat handle, I'm not sure if you have a, um, a crossbody strap on this one or not. We know that there's also tons of other variations of that bag. On to a bag which is becoming a little more popular at the moment. The Self Portrait um, Bow Micro Tote Bag few different sizes of these, I'm not sure if they have different sizes of the crystal, only £330. You can get a blue, a pink, the traditional, you know, silver. I think that bag's so fun and so cute. And finally, here we have a Marc Jacobs bag, um, and again called the rhinestone. <laughs> um, this is £505 and I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. It's not for me in that if you go down to the details, you know, where there's a very chunky strap. No, I don't think this is for me, though I can appreciate it. And if I was to see it in store, I'd love to try it on. So those are my sparkly bag finds for the season. Um, not sure anyone will find this video interesting. <laughs> Perhaps if you like looking at, you know, glittery and sparkly bags, then maybe so. Um, or if you are looking for a, a, a sparkly seasonal bag or just sparkly evening bag um maybe this did help i'm not sure um but thank you for watching nonetheless if you did and i will see you in my next video